So after having pulled everything out, um, the trunk is full of holes. See that there, it's really shot. Nice little air holes there. Up over there, this side is actually pretty good. Again, passenger side better than the uh, driver's side here. Got lots of rust there. And the frame rails are all flaky, so I can't trust them. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna replace this whole trunk pan while I'm doing the, the rest of the car, because I'm putting mini tubs in here, because you can only get like an eight inch wide tire. And everybody stuck them outside the fender, hence the flares. But I'm not gonna do that. I want them in, tucked inside. So I've got, that one's gonna have to be modified. And this one's gonna have to be modified to fit a mini tub. So it'll be in approximately inch and a half, two inches on each side um, so that we can fit the bigger tires in there. We've got, right here you can see, this is the frame rail right there and this is the side of the car. So I got all this distance right here that I can get rid of. And my inner tubs, you can see, are all shot anyways. So that's where it goes down inside the, uh, and that's all bad. Here, I can't really tell. It's got so much rubber and everything inside of it from the guy getting on it. So, gotta take the tank loose there. I'm gonna take these, uh, these um, light brackets out. Take the bumper off, take this off, and you know, I'm just working my way towards getting it toured down while we wait for the big surprise to be named at a later date. Hey, so I'm going to leave the uh, trunk latch on because it's got a heavy spring and I want this to stay shut until I take the deck lid off, and I'm not going to do that until we move the car. So trunk latch stays on for right now. But I am gonna print build these or remove these um, tail light brackets or tail lights. These are in better shape than the ones in the basket, so I have to test them and see. Well, the bulbs go right through there. There's the um, harness, so I'll pull that harness out, check it, see if it's good, and then we may reuse that harness.
or I might buy a painless kit and rewire the whole thing because I am going to put the uh, I am going to put the um, rear mounted or trunk mounted battery in take it out of the front So now here I am at the back of the tank or back of the car. I am going to remove the gas filler um, uh, neck retaining. So that's that. Back here, this rubber hose that goes around the tank. So get rid of all this so that I can get this tank out. I am taking off the um, gas cap lid now. Tight fit. Okay, so I'm going to be uh, taking this, um, I forget what it's called, cowl cover, cowl cover, we'll call it cowl, co cowl cover, off um, so that I can start working on the rust and, you know, working my way down to taking uh, all these components that I can unbolt, unbolt them and start getting them prepped for the paint. So. Um, I got to pull this trim off yet, but I don't have the plastic tool to do it. So I'm going to go and get that probably tomorrow. I'll go pick one up over to Harbor Freight. So anyways, here I go. So this is uh, a quarter inch drive, quarter inch socket. Pull these out of here. And there is one, two three, four, and then the um, uh, washer, um, the washer retainers. So I've got one of them out, two of them out. hoping that I can slip this under this um, out under this it doesn't look like it goes back only about half an inch so if I can do that that'd be awesome otherwise this isn't going to get finished till tomorrow when I go get the tool but this is some more busy work 
pulling, a, pulling this car apart until we get it into our new shop. There, I said it. Y'all heard me. Got a new shop coming. We're waiting for it to get done. It's the middle of June. It's supposed to be available for us to get into. So, looking forward to that. Okay, down to the last one. This is the retainer for the washer fluid reservoir all right all right i need to get my stuff out of the way so everything doesn't go blasting out of here when i pull this out and i'm going to need both hands so i'm going to end this part i'll be Well, the plate that was on this was a 76. Um, I don't know who, whose plate that was or if that was accurate from the one last time this was uh, put on the car. But it's now, uh, it's now going to be removed.